the challenge that we have is that um, sometimes we don't have a choice, right? Because sometimes, um, you know, uh, you'll see among the donor community when a very smart minister or a permanent secretary is appointed, everyone wants to work with that person, right? And then uh, without understanding the political economy about what you want to achieve, like, you know, my approach has always been to really try to understand, like, where do we want to get? Who are the organization and the people we need to work with? And then how do we make it happen through that? They may not be the right people. I think there are some, you know, like if, um, you know, they may not have the highest integrity, but if they have the strategic drive, et cetera, and they're well positioned, you can really help them. This is why we've learned our lesson and we even launched the program called the International Public Health uh, Leadership Program, where we try to really look because across all government offices, you will find junior, younger people who actually do the job. Most of the time, it's not the top person. It's like the, the second or third people there within the ministries. So we're trying to really, you know, working with the University of Washington to create that pipeline of, uh, you know, uh, you know, meet leaders within the ministry. So because those one, when they grow, they can really make the change, etc. So it's, it's not so, so easy.